Hal to Dr. Ahmad Lamin Samati has on Wednesday given an update on the current situation of COVID-19 pandemic in the Gambia. Dr. Samati says the information or the misinformation in relation to COVID-19 is undermining the work of the health officials. The CSA has more details of that in this report. Following the fast moving surge of coronavirus cases in the Gambia, the Health Minister Dr. Ahmad Lamin Samate appeared on the media to give the current scenario of the pandemic in the country. During the start of the pandemic, analysis showed that the largest share of COVID-19 deaths is among those over the age of 65 and those with underlying health conditions. But the situation has however changed as even younger ones are dying from the virus as explained by the Health Minister, Dr. Ahmad Lamin Samate. We, however, are now seeing even younger people dying from the disease. We have discovered that up to 70% of the patients we are seeing now are infected with the Delta variant of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. This variant is known to be more virulent, more transmissible, and leading to more severe illness. Cognizant of the prevailing situation in the country, Dr. Samate calls for concerted efforts in the fight against the virus. As many patients in health facilities could be seen on oxygen treatment, Minister Samate outlined his ministry's plan to provide more oxygen plants in the country. We continue to work on the treatment centers and other modalities of containment and prevention strategies to halt the spread of the disease. We are working very hard to have three oxygen generating plants for the country. One to be stationed in Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital, one at the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital, Bacow Center, also called Deban Treatment Center, and the other at the ba at Bansang General Hospital. The growing misinformation around COVID-19 has further eroded the efforts of health professionals in combating the virus, according to Dr. Samate. But the sad reality about the COVID-19 pandemic is, it is so unfortunate. As some people are spreading the good message, some people are spreading the bad message and undermining the process. For whatever reason, I do not know. But one thing I know is it's very sinful to spread the wrong message because the wrong message when it is spread people who may believe it may not be may not go out there for vaccination they may be at risk they may die from the disease so you can imagine a person misinformed an individual and the individual decides not to take the vaccine and he dies but that individual alone who got infected and died might have infected many other people. That is the risk with infectious diseases. That is why when we do not know about something, let us not talk about it. Over the last three weeks, Gambia has witnessed a gradual rise in the number of coronavirus cases and deaths. The country has recorded a total of 7,709 COVID-19 cases. 6,600 recoveries and 212 deaths. Recently, Gambia has secured 151,200 vaccine doses of Johnson & Johnson from the Government of the United States through COVAX initiative. However, it is estimated nearly 70% of African countries will not reach the 10% vaccination target for all countries by the end of September at the current pace. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Daisy Seth.